Come and show us your face, O Lord, who are seated upon the cherubim, and we shall be saved. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you heal the brokenhearted. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you clothe us with the robe of salvation. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come again in glory to bring everlasting joy and gladness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who see your people faithfully await the feast of the Lord's Nativity, enable us, we pray, to attain the joys of so great a salvation and to celebrate them always with solemn worship and glad rejoicing through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and to release the prisoners, to announce the year of favor from the Lord, and a day of vindication by our God. I rejoice heartily in the Lord, and with God is my joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels, as the earth brings forth its plants and the garden makes growth to spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all nations. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. My soul rejoices in my God. My soul, my soul rejoices, rejoices in, in my God. God. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked upon his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call him, me blessed. My soul, my soul rejoices, rejoices in, in my God. God. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. My soul, my soul rejoices, rejoices in, in my God. God. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to help his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy. My, my soul, soul rejoices, rejoices in my God. God. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In all circumstances, give thanks. For this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise prophetic utterances. Test everything, retain what is good. Refrain from every kind of evil. May the God of peace make you perfectly holy, and may you entirely, spirit, soul, and body, be preserved blameless for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the, <clears throat> the one who called you is faithful, and he will also accomplish it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. A man named John was sent from God, and he came for testimony to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. 
He was not the light, but came to testify to the light. And this is the testimony of John. When the Jews from Jerusalem sent priests and Levites to him to ask him, who are you? He admitted and did not deny it, but admitted, I am not the Christ. So they asked him, well, who are you then? Are you Elijah? And he said, I am not. Are you the prophet? And he answered, no. So they said to him, who are you? So that we can give an answer to those who sent us. <clears throat> What do you have to say for yourself? And he said, I am the voice of one crying out in the desert, make straight the way of the Lord. As Isaiah the prophet said, some Pharisees were also sent and they asked him, why then do you baptize if you are not the Christ or Elijah or the prophet? John answered them, I baptize with water. But there is one among you whom you do not recognize, the one who is coming after me, whose sandal strap I am not worthy, un I am not worthy to untie. And this happened in Bethany, across the Jordan, where John was baptizing. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Did you hear the good news this week? That's a question we all love to hear, a question that immediately gets our attention. It's nice to hear good news once in a while, and when we get a bit of good news, we have an itch to go out and tell others about it. But how much more joy there is when the good news is news that comes from God? And that's the story of Isaiah and John that we just read in our Holy Scriptures. It's the story about you and about me. Isaiah was a prophet who lived long before Christ, and he was sent by God to bring news to people, but the news he brought to people was always bad news, like our news coverage today. It seems like we only hear bad news every night. Seems like we only read bad news in the paper every day. And Isaiah's job was to, in a sense, chastise the people, to plead with them. They were on the wrong path. And God was using him to warn them, to tell them of the disaster that awaited them if they continued on this wrong path. And people didn't want to hear that kind of news, nor do we. But here today, finally God relents, and the people are no longer being chastised. They've lost their land, they've lost their homes, they've lost their temple. But now God is relenting, and he's going to bring them back. He's going to restore them to their original state. And the good news is, as Isaiah says today, the Spirit of God is upon me, and I come to bring you comfort. I come to bring you glad tidings healing and release to the prisoners, a day of favor from the Lord, a day of vindication from God. And I rejoice heartily in the Lord, my God. God is the joy of my soul now because I'm bringing you good news. And we find the same story with John in the gospel. John, the last of the great prophets. John is the one who is present when Christ is born into the world. John is the one who is out in the desert preparing the way for Jesus. And now he tells the people, here he is, behold, this is the Lamb of God. And so people come to him, but the Spirit of God is upon John, and he knows who he is. Who are you? Are you the Christ? No, I'm not the Christ. Are you a prophet? No, I'm not the prophet. I'm the one who's preparing the way for the Lord. And you know, that's the role of each one of us today. Advent is our time. Advent is our time to be in the spotlight, to be on the stage. Advent is a time for us to prepare for the coming of God and to proclaim the nearness of God to those around us. We live in a world that's filled with all kinds of bad news, but we have good news to bring to people, that God loves us 
God is our savior and God is coming to us. This is the message that we are to bring. And who tells us to do this better than St. Paul today in the beautiful first, in his beautiful second reading, when he tells us, brothers and sisters, rejoice, pray without ceasing. In every circumstance, give thanks to God because he's with you. And don't quench the spirit. Yes, the spirit of God is upon us as it was upon Isaiah, as it was upon John. He came to us in baptism. He came to us in confirmation. Jesus sends the Spirit to us each day, we who are his followers, to show us the way to bring the good news to others. Let us bring that news, the news of peace, of joy, the news of love, the news of compassion, the news of forgiveness, the news of reconciliation in a world that doesn't know what these things are all about, a world that thinks only material things count. These are the things that pass so quickly. It's only the things of heaven that are really important, and you and I are to be the messengers to others. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe, I believe in, in one Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the, the only begotten, begotten Son of God, God born, born of the Father before all ages, ages. God, God from God, light, light from light, light. True, true God, God from true God, true God. begotten, begotten not made, made consubstantial with the Father. With the Father. Through, through him all things, all things were made. made. For us for men, men for, for our salvation, salvation he came, came down, down from, from heaven and became and man, man, and by the and Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate, incarnate of the Virgin Mary, Mary and, and became man. man. For, for our, our sake, sake he was crucified under Pontius, Pontius Pilate. Pilate, he, he suffered, suffered death and, and was buried, and rose, rose again on the third day, third day in, in accordance, accordance with, with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I, and I look, look forward, forward to the, the resurrection, resurrection of the dead, dead and the life of the world to come. to come. Amen. As we strive to make our hearts a more welcome home for Jesus, let us offer our needs and concerns in prayer to our Father. For the faithful, that we may give witness to Christ as the light of the world, by loving and serving others in his name, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the world, that a spirit of joy may permeate the lives of all those who eagerly await the coming of Christ in glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the poor and the infirm, that they may be helped in ways that respect their dignity as human beings, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer for the grieving and sorrowing people in our midst, that we may reach out to them with loving hearts and help them bring comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, that they may see God face to face in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us take a moment to present to God those petitions which are in our own hearts. And for these intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. Father, we know that you hear our prayers and answer them according to your will. We pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Let's be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Lord, accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the sacrifice of our worship, Lord, we pray, be offered to you unceasingly to complete what was begun in sacred mystery and powerfully accomplish for us your saving work through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. With them we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is it right, is right and, just. and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his final coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, in all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, of hosts heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these sacred mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. In giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when he was Ended, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you for, and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing health. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Benedict our Pope and Joseph our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people your son has gained for you. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you now in your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art Lord in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the, and the glory are yours, yours now, now and forever. And forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now share with each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you, that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall will be healed. Be healed.
say to the saint of heart, be strong and do not fear. Behold, our God will come and he will save us. Let us pray. <clears throat> we implore your mercy, Lord, <clears throat> that this divine sustenance may cleanse us of our faults and prepare us for the coming feasts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us now go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.